people thank you so much now i am discussing sample size calculation, calculation for hypothesis testing uh, today i will discuss sample size calculation procedure for randomized control trial that means rct so let's uh, we can start uh, with a uh, example research question that means the research uh, hypothesis to be tested that significant clinical improvement will the observed following drug intervention of COVID-19 patient compared to th those who did not receive any drug intervention. That means uh, some st study participant uh, uh, we the study participant, study participant assigned into two group one is treatment group and other is control group and uh, and using a randomization the participant uh, will be decomposed decomposed and segregated into the two group randomly one is treatment group and other is control group now what is the sample size of each group? This is the main objective of this presentation. So, our hypo, uh, before going to the sample size procedure, we should uh, know about, we should represent some information that means proportion 1 and proportion 2. For example, proportion 1 is intervention group and proportion 2 the control group or vice versa and first the hypothesis there is no difference between two groups this is the null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis it may that means uh, group one is more than group two or group one is less than group two this is the null hypothesis and based on the hypothesis that means our null hypothesis group one the proportion one is equal to proportion two and other is uh, proportion one is not equal to proportion two and this is called the sample size for two side and for this uh, hypothesis as well as for this study design the sample size calculation is uh, n was n is equal to the function of z value and function of uh, proportion value where p1 is the proportion of uh, outcome from one group that means either treatment or control proportion, proportion 2 is the proportion of outcome from two group alpha is the level of significant uh, 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 the last class we have discussed what is the level of significant what is the power and Suppose from the literature review, the uh, prevalence of P1 is 51% and the researcher's hypothesis after giving the intervention, the proportion will be increased by 20 percentage point, that means at 71%. And alpha value is 5%, power is 80%, then uh, uh, then the from normal distribution the z value corresponding to alpha is 1.96 and the value of z beta is 0.84 then if we put the value in this formula then the required sample size will be 89 per group that means uh, so the interpretation of this table is it is assumed that the proportion of clinical improvement in the patient with COVID-19 uh, from control group is 51. This is the 51. And hypothesis is that uh, with a given intervention to achieve a significant improvement by 20 percentage point in the proportion of clinical improvement in the patient with COVID-19. Uh, that means 71 percent of the uh, patient would reach its clinical improvement. Consider a two-sided significant level of alpha is equal to 0 0.05, 80% power, 
the hypothesis tests are given in the table, that is this table. The calculated sample size using the formulations by the formula one in the R1 is 89, whereas equal sample size in the second group, that means the uh, distribution of two group is equal. That is one is to one. Then the total sample size is 178. The, any question in the uh, among uh, this formula as well as table? Yes. Otherwise, please. Sorry, Kadar Bhai. I want to ask about a question about uh, the proportion of outcome from group 1 and group 2. You, you have said that the, the proportion of uh, group 1 uh, is 51 percent. That means that if, if anybody does not or if anybody do not receive any kind of intervention, they will automatically improve their physical symptoms that means the 51 percent. Yes, no, 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 no. Uh, this is control group. Control group means no treatment. This is the traditional treatment. And interval is the new treatment. Yes. For so, example, for example, so, for example, if we, if we are suffering from fever, then we uh, consume uh, Napa, Napa medicine. But yes. the intervention group will be receive a new uh, Medicine, the okay. Napa one, but okay. control group is either Napa or fast or paracetamol or any other. But intervention group receive the new treatment. Okay. Okay. Uh, yes. 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 Okay. And uh, any other question? And this uh, uh, among this table, we can write the in the uh, our protocol of proposal we can write like this but the description of this uh, formula i have described uh, in the previous session okay any question If there is no question, then I will go to the second part. Second part means uh, this formula for uh, binary outcome, and uh, now uh, I will describe for continuous outcome. Uh, that means uh, if our estimate is or outcome is continuous, that means uh, mean of outcome from group one, mean of outcome from group two. That means the symbol, symbol size is the similar and uh, before this presentation already uh, Mehdi disc has described the, uh, the procedure of the continuous outcome that uh, if they have a parameter estimate. That means that 2 sigma square sigma square is the standard deviation divided by mean 1 divided by mean 1 minus mean 2 square. And if we put the formula in this table, then the sample size is 31 in each group. So, Murad Bhai, if there is no question, then uh, may we go to the next topic or uh, I have to stop here. Murad Bhai. So, I think uh, what you are thinking is uh, right for you. So, if there is no question left for you, then you can go. Okay. Then, now, uh, I am describing hypothesis here, sample size calculation for uh, cohort study. And generally, in cohort study, we can estimate risk ratio or uh, relative risk. Uh, relative risk is the same thing. That means if 
the expose is the smoke yeah, uh, wearing mask or not wearing mask then our outcome is the covid uh, having covid 19 positive or not that means if a person wear the uh, mask then uh, he has to chance uh, to infected with covid covid positive or negative now how to calculate sample size for, uh, in each group but before before calculating sample size we have to write uh, some narrative like this the usual null hypothesis when the relative risk is the parameter of interest the null hypothesis is one and uh, in the several presentation i have described the ratio the null value of any ratio is one that is the hypothesis that the proportion of those who develop a disease is the same for both exposed and unexposed exposed means not wearing mask, unexposed means wearing mask. And this is the formula of risk ratio. Risk ratio is one means prevalence of uh, uh, COVID-19 among first group is equal to COVID-19, yeah, is equal to prevalence among sec second group. And this is our null hypothesis. And based on the null hypothesis, the sample size calculation formula for core study is N1 is equal to this function where P1 is the prevalence of outcome in the unexposed group. Here, unexposed group means uh, wearing mask, and P2 is equal to prevalence of outcome in the exposed group. Exposed group means not wearing mask, and P is equal to the average of P1 and P2, and the uh, other information is same like the previous session. And if we uh, consider some uh, proportion that means proportion of outcome is uh, from one group is 17 percent and the information will be taken from paper report or hospital record etc and the hypothesis that if the person did not wear mask then the chance of having COVID-19 is 35 percent and this is the average and the latest the other information is like same and if we put this information in, in the formula, then the sample size will be 131, 131 in each group. The total sample size is 262. And, and this is the uh, uh, sample size calculation procedure for code study. And in next session, I will discuss the sample size calculator for case control study. But today, I'm stopping here. Uh, any question, then I will describe the uh, any uh, issue if, 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 if you have any question. Uh, okay. Yes, uh, I wanted to uh, talk about uh, some suggestion from you uh, uh, about a uh, a concept uh, I want to prepare. Uh, so, can I share with you? Uh, no, I mean, if, if any question among this uh, session, we have another way. However, since ask, asking regarding the presentation that he has given, then and after that, after that, you can ask. Yes, yes. Because you have issues. Okay, so please, uh, okay, okay. Okay, thank you.